Welcome to my summary of learning for ECNI 834. We started off the semester with Alec and Katja explaining how we were going to be utilizing blogging and Twitter as our main sources of interactions for this online course. Thankfully, they shared a short but comprehensive list of videos and tips for how to do both properly. Once the structure was out of the way, we began exploring what online learning is, and blended learning, and flipped classrooms, which eventually took us into the LMS, CMS, or VLE area. I don't know about you, but that was a lot of acronyms. We began to explore learning management systems from Edmodo, which is like a Facebook style, but friendly for children, to a Canvas, which is more of a open concept Moodle class. These obviously naturally transitioned into us viewing through Moodle and Schoolologies, which are all great learning management systems, but our group ended up on a different one. As a group, we decided to use Google Classroom as our LMS for the prototype project. We did this because most of us have access to use Google Apps for Education through the Regina Public School Board. I shared my Google Classroom with my group, giving my group mates a quick overview of how and what the layout looks like. I started with the class page here to show the variety that you can house within the LMS. Then I moved on to share how the assignments work. I was able to choose an assignment that had self-created content along with YouTube links and shared images from brainstorming sessions within the class as you would in a blended setting. After a couple of small group Zoom meetings, we decided on our content and began working diligently on our specified modules, where we each got to play around with specific content creating tools. While we felt we were ready and we were rolling, we knew we always had to be prepared for the wheel of terror in Alec and Katya's classes. As we moved from LMS understanding into creating our own content, I also realized you can have a lot of fun as well. From tools like GarageBand, where I think I can sound like Garth Brooks, to actually using Audacity, to realizing I'm not even good enough for a screaming band, this class certainly opened my eyes to the amount of creation tools that are available and designed for kids to use and show what they know. One of my favorite tools that we had a chance to explore this semester was Telegram. It's given me the opportunity to add authenticity to a lesson especially when there's a sub in the room and the kids are naturally engaged because it's partly video as well. Another cool tool that I played around with this semester were stop motion videos, whether it be video scribe or go animate. They're interesting tools and the students love to interact with them, but I would suggest that the teacher understands it very well before they go ahead and utilize it within the classroom as it can become a very daunting task for any student, let alone teacher. As we move from creating the teaching content of our course, we had to find a way to converse and share in the learning process with our students. This led me through some articles around the importance of designing appropriate online interactions. I think back to Schwier's article where he had said, learners have control over the quality of collaboration that happens online. And if they reject the invitation to elevate their engagement with each other, we will be left with something less, a cohort, not a community. While there's necessarily nothing wrong with a cohort versus a community, I look at it like peppers to a variety of desserts. Peppers are healthy, but bland, whereas desserts are inviting, interesting, flavorful, and inspire conversation. Once we had created our content, there was a process of group meetings and collaboration that took place to ensure our overall page came together. This was a unique opportunity to be a part of an online course around learning how to work from distance and collaborate similarly to how we were designing a course for such a similar task. Finally, I would like to say thank you to Alec and Katya, not only for this course, but all the others I have taken from you. Each of your courses has changed my teaching and has continually been the best professional development I have ever taken. Enjoy your summer.